Welcome to another edition of JAX TV here from the W JAX 2012 in Munich. With me is Evgeny Kabanov. He is the founder and CEO of Zero Turnaround. Evgeny, uh, your company is based in Estonia, quite a small country, but a country with a very prosperous uh, scene of startups in the IT business and actually a country which uses uh, quite modern infrastructure in IT. Why is this? It's a, you know, there, there's a lot of factors here. Um, obviously, one of the factors is that Estonia has to has very good education. The education is free, like Germany. I mean, higher education and, you know, and the university is good and the eco ecosystem is decent. Another factor is like, uh, you know, starting with Skype, uh, we just, we have these aspirations, right? So Skype created this something to aspire to, a billion dollar company in a such a small, built in a such a small country. Um, and then you have just like uh, the, the just the fact that Estonia is a lib one of the few European countries which is still liberal. I mean, like fiscally liberal, so low taxes, easy to start a company, uh, easy to hire and fire people, which is which is you know very very important for a startup. And so like you know, and there's other factors, just the community, the startup community is strong. So there's all together, this means that it's a very nurturing environment and people with ideas. You know, they get uh, they get to hackathons, they get to meet other people, they get to. And they, they, they're encouraged to create a company, they're encouraged to seek funding, they're encouraged to enter startup accelerators. And in, as, as an end result, we have right now something like, I don't know, 20, 30 uh, active startups, uh, uh, something like five startups which already made it, you know. Mm. So this is just like order of magnitude. I, I don't know the number from memory. And, you know, just per capita, this is a huge number because uh, Estonia is 1.3 million people, right? So it's it's probably smaller than Munich. I don't actually know how big is Munich, but uh, it's definitely smaller than Berlin. <laughs> yeah. So and you know and and and, the, and it keeps growing, right? So it's 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 not it doesn't stop. It keeps growing, and uh, I, I I honestly am one of you know my this kind of belief and my, something I'm working help trying to help towards is that Estonia would become the hub, the technical hub of the Europe. Uh, because exactly because there's you know there's not uh, quite such an environment elsewhere in Europe, at least not at the moment. Well, that's a big vision. <laughs> but what made you set up your company? What problem? What solution was the the yeah the trigger to set up on yeah zero turnaround? So my belief is like entrepreneurs are largely like writers. You know, writers don't write because they like writing. They write because they cannot help. You know, they just cannot stand not writing. So entrepreneurs are the guys who cannot stand not putting their solution to works. And I was originally a, uh, you know, I was working for a consulting company. I was uh, kind of was kind of a firefighter solving the uh, the most annoying problems. And you know, and that one of the problems that was bugging me is developer efficiency. And I saw that this giant inefficiency, you know, in this uh, in the fact that every time developer made a change, they had to do this build and redeploy, and it was. And when I came and it took 15 minutes, I still remember it. it was, the hardware was also slower and like, you know, and, and so it was crazy. And so, the, you know, so for me, it was just like this giant problem, which I really wanted to solve. And I saw that, you know, it's an opportunity uh, to build a company around it, to offer people something that is really of value and to, you know, get money back, which is what companies are all about. Mm -hmm. And uh, today, you know, today the vision is significantly expanded where I really, you know, really, it, it goes down to this. We, we say, you know, we say this, that uh, quoting Mark Andreessen is that software is eating the world and we want to be the guys who help software eat the world faster, right? So we want to solve inefficiencies in the software development and delivery process. So, and that's that's how it goes. You start, you know, you start with something specific and then you grow and then you grow and then you grow and then, and then interesting things happen. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the problem you are actually talking about and you're concerned with is to tackle these um, continuous delivery problem. Continuous de integration is a problem which is maybe solved on the side of the developers. And now you're tackling this problem of continuous delivery, which is a combination of developers and operations, when I get it right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. And um, yeah, what is the problem in it? Um, Maybe that's the first question, <laughs> and then we answer uh, what your solution is. 
So, you know, um, I'm a guy who, you know, doesn't like hype. Like, and and uh, mm -hmm. so when, when people say cloud, 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 you know, I'm, I'm get crazy. And I, I just came from Gartner conference and obviously there was a lot of this cloud, cloud, cloud. But um, for me, the problem really is very simple. Uh, for the last 20, like 10, 20 years, there's has been a lot of development in tooling, methodology and attitude of development teams. But there has been very little progress in QA, uh, in QA, in operations, in generally in management of uh, software organizations. And so today we basically get to the point where the, the, so the, the development methodology is mature enough that they start expanding, right? So we, we start applying more or less the same ideas to other areas. And, you know, the main idea is like, uh, like what Agile is about is largely teamwork and automation right so at least for me like so the, the tools that agile produced was automated testing continuous integration and refactoring right so which is all ways to uh, to improve the application continuously and so now we're talking about operations how do we you know how do we make operations job easier how do we make it how do we speed up the whole software develop process and the bottlenecks are largely configuration update the bottlenecks largely are very uh, hard problem is how do we update the application with the user still pounding it is really you know it's, it's a very scientifically hard challenging problem because there's lots of different things that can go wrong and and how do we make it comfortable how do we uh, how to make it easy for operations to do the basic things so that could they could focus on the hard ones right so and this is this is really the the problem we're focusing on this is you know how to how can we uh, take these lessons from development and apply them in other areas. And for me, this is also what continuous delivery or DevOps is basically about. Like those, you know, DevOps started from the operation side, continuous delivery started from the development side, but the ideas are very, very similar. Mm -hmm. And yeah, stating down the problem, what is your solution or what is maybe a way to solve this problem? So um, we, we, thought we really, you know, we, we did, did a lot of soul searching and a lot of research and uh, uh, so we built the product called Liverable and it's been around for uh, one and a half years or so and it was you know we're getting more and more adoption and the the, the kind of the focus that we chose in the end uh, was basically two things one is the same um, a no downtime update so uh, we provide transactional recoverable no downtime update right and um, and we started with just providing that for the application so you know so what that, what that means is basically that you can roll out your application during the day and you, 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 you there's not a lot of risk because if something does go wrong it's either going to automatically revert back or it's or you'll just click a button and it's going to uh, revert to previous or next version right but we started with the application itself and then we understood that really you know the 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 problem is larger the scope is uh, includes configuration it includes database it includes uh, dependencies it includes uh, all kinds of things. So now we uh, now we kind of expanding. Uh, so in the last version we added configuration management. So now you can uh, add this kind of incremental scripts, kind of like RPM style scripts, but they're also uh, incremental with different versions. And and we obviously have a vision going forward, even several years, uh, how we're going to evolve it further. And the the real goal is that a small organization. Uh, could take our uh, liveable, could install it in a very short time, like minutes, not hours, could immediately benefit from it, right? And and basically uh, could, would solve most of the basic operational needs by just installing liveable. And then they could focus on actually complex things, like you know, making sure that when the network, ch you know, when the something changes and we can react quickly, that when the uh, that we are, we are resilient against some kind of environment. We you know we have replication. Like there, there's a lot of very complex problems. You know which by the way other folks also are trying to solve. So we focus on the actual delivery. Like mm -hmm. how to you have the artifact. How to make first of all make one artifact to rule them all, which can be deployed anywhere. And second, how to do one click deploys for uh, most uh, typical environments. Mm -hmm. And how does a normal proficient Java developer can use your tool or what does he need to learn to use it or to what to understand um, to get that, um, yeah, uh, to get the benefits out of these continuous delivery idea? So, uh, so there are two components to this, like uh, one component is liveable itself. And honestly, like, you know, we, we, we at Zero Turnaround, we uh, put a huge focus on the product and what we say that we basically build consumer tools for the enterprise. 
uh, which means that you know we, we write proudly write that five minute install no docs required right so which means that you don't have you know you don't have to know very much anything that you install library it detects the servers it detects applications you get a very nice console you know and then you have an update button which basically allows you to roll things out and roll them back uh, the other side of it of course is that you know if you want to take full advantage of it you also should build a pipeline you should uh, do that and uh, the way we help that uh, is that we produce uh, very very easy like today I did a talk and this talk is actually Actually doubled in a very nice PDF with accompanying source code with accompanying examples you know how to how to build uh, this full continuous delivery pipeline using Jenkins Nexus and Liverable, right so uh, we produce this uh, educational materials which are available for free from us if you Google for pragmatic continuous delivery you can get them so that's the second part of it and and we and we keep adding on top of that so yeah, thank you very much for this insights, Evgeny. Uh, it was quite interesting. I hope you make uh, your vision true to, um, yeah, that Estonia becomes uh, the European software hub. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs>